I'm just going to record a uh, wiring up of a Nest thermostat to a Worcester Bosch combi boiler uh, just uh, for record purposes. The first thing to say is this should only be done by a qualified electrician and or qualified installer and signed off. Uh, so it's not, not um, a DIY thing. Uh, but I'm going to show you what goes on. The first thing is to uh, show that this is the existing thermostat uh, and it's a thermostat and uh, a programmable controller built in one but it's just connected to the boiler by two wires uh, and I'll show you the two wires as they come into the boiler uh, and that's what is going to be replaced as a thermostat by the nest so that was um, for its time quite a sophisticated thermostat because it had um, the control functions built into it uh, this is the Worcester Bosch Green Star I already with the front off and opened up if you have something that looks anything similar to this it would be a similar type of boiler and if I uh, go over to look at this what you can see is the two existing wires from the old boiler that's the mains wire and the grey cable there, that one, is the cable uh, to or from the thermostat. So you've got two, two wires coming in which have been around all the time. And I've switched off the power to the boiler there and I can remove the fuse as well. But I've got a meter just to check it's off. So the only connections that are on, connected in here, are live, neutral and earth, which are at this end. And then what we've got is a live out it says live in and then live out and so on the white block you've got a brown wire out to the thermostat and then a blue neutral wire return from the thermostat to what's labeled on here if I can get it in focus and light as LR there we are sorry LR so it goes out from uh, L that's 230 volts out L to the thermostat and back to the radiator symbol LR, so L return. And that's the control wire that comes back in to turn the boiler on and off. And that is operating at mains voltage. So it's a mains voltage thermostat at the moment. And we don't want that for the nest. The nest is a 12 volt thermostat and so that is all taken all of these are not connected on here so you can see there's an LR for hot water only a frost stat there and various other connections uh, which are not used so this is a very simple connection here and without pausing uh, we go to this and you've got 230 volt combi boiler and it shows it here with the nest installed. This is it installed. But the gap between the two is that, uh, how do you relate this to what's in existence? So all of these terminals are nest terminals and we'll have a look at the device itself. But what we've got basically is mains power in, something that goes into the boiler to turn the boiler on and off, live and neutral to the boiler and uh, something which uh, goes to the thermostat which will be the 12 volts now going to the thermostat not 240 volts uh, so what we just have to work out is uh, how this wiring operates here the tricky bit is i've got those wires in there if i read the instructions it says to mount the, the this device which is the main controller to the boiler at 30 centimeters from the boiler. Uh, I'm just going to check a few bits online to see other people's experience because it's Wi-Fi. because um, it would be easier for me, obviously, if I could mount it quite close to the boiler. If I have to mount it 30 centimeters from the boiler, I've got to pull out some um, multi-core wire to do all that wiring up and fit it somewhere. That's where the boiler is. There's a kitchen cupboard slap bang next to it. 
that's the mains input to the boiler there uh, I could mount it there but that's closer than 30 centimeters uh, you know I could put it on a slightly longer wire and uh, see if it works reasonably well at that distance and let you know my findings uh, there is a gap down the side it could be mounted down that gap but again that's close to the boiler and I'm assuming they're saying the Wi-Fi doesn't like being uh, that close to the boiler but um, my approach unless I change it at this point in time will be to uh, sort out the wiring and leave enough length of wire so that I can reposition it if need be and move it further away which might mean under the cupboards moving it to somewhere like there uh, the wires will be quite neatly hidden under the cupboards uh, but just to get it away from the boiler if necessary now my first comment is a little bit of a pain in the neck uh, live neutral shrunk me in no earth wire shrunk me in there's shown an earth on the boiler there right and an earth connection there so on this nest oh that's the cover for the nest uh, there it is live and neutral in there but then the earth connection all the way over there so that does mean you have to strip the wire back a long way so that your uh, if your mains cable comes up there the earth can stretch over to there and then the thermostat wires will come out uh, from these two, the 12 volt bit coming out there uh, to the thermostat. And uh, the other issue is that it looks, uh, yeah, as though what you have is to keep the live and neutral power into the. Right. So, the thing that I've got to work out, this thing to work out is that is obviously turning the boiler on and off but my boiler the Worcester Bosch combi boiler needs to be powered all the time yep not controlled through a switch in order for it to uh, do its circulate functions it's got clever functions where it uh, pumps water around the system even when there's no demand for hot water so the thermostat will demand hot water. With this system, what would happen, uh, as far as I can tell, is it would close the contacts there, turn the boiler on, the boiler would work when you get demand for hot water. But when the thermostat has reached temperature, or is off, then the, there's no power to the boiler at all, as far as I can tell, because look, it's going through a switch. And what that means, and even if you do it as, um, Uh, open therm boiler the same thing uh, and so the boiler can't do its maintenance functions that it needs to do so uh, we'll have to have a look at that I'm just going to check online because these are the only circuit diagrams supplied with the uh, with the thing uh, we're not dealing with any other things it's a very simple compact boiler sorry to be going on about this a bit but this is just before I do any wiring, what I'm uh, considering uh, has been the things. So uh, in this wiring scheme and in the open firm wiring scheme, there's no permanent power to the boiler. And uh, when the thermostat turns it off uh, and um, the earth terminal on this nest is a long way from the live and neutral. I prefer if it was right next to live and neutral. So you'll have live neutral and earth there. Just a thought. Yeah, hopefully you get the bit you are interested in out of this video. And um, you go through the same thought process as I am. So I'm going to say that stuff, but think it through yourself and check it out. So what I've worked out is what needs to go to the nest here from my Worcester Bosch Green Star Eye Combi Boiler is neutral out, 
live out to there and to there and live return back to there. That's three wires from the boiler itself. Plus I need a fourth wire because I want to connect the earth up. I want to connect the earth of that up as well. And then there's the wires to the thermostat. So I've got some wire out of a multi-core cable. It's certainly uh, big enough. I've got enough brown and blue to represent live and neutral. I've got green, which I can sleeve at either end to represent the earth. And then I've got a choice of red, black or white to use for the uh, live return. Uh, so that I've got four different colors or uh, yeah, that would make it easier for me. And if I put that in a bit of trunking, that'll be certainly good enough. So let's just have a look at that, see what I'm talking about. So what you can see there is oh, plenty of earth, spare earth connections. Uh, live in will stay there will not be moved, the boiler will be powered. Live out is going to go to the nest. Uh, neutral out is going to go to the nest. So it's got live and neutral from here. Live return is going to come back from the nest to that. So three wires would do it if the nest box is not grounded. But I would like to have it grounded, so I'm also going to add a green wire from there uh, to the nest and connect it to the ground terminal. Those two wires which are coming in on this grey sleeving I'm going to need for my 12 volt supply to the thermostat and the thermostat will be in the same place so that that cable that's uh, in there those will be taken out and also connected into the nest and used as the 12 volt feed to so be taken out of there completely. So I've got a pencil so I, I can point to them. Uh, the previous live returns, live out and live return from the uh, old thermostat came down here. That's going to be taken out and disconnected and used uh, to supply the uh, 12 volt. So none of the mains in wires on the white block are going to be uh, removed. They're going to stay exactly where they are. So the mains input is going to stay exactly as it was. I'm just going to be using the live out uh, from there. I'm using unsleeved wires because I wanted four wires. And the cord grip doesn't uh, screw up tight enough to trap single wires. Uh, my intention is for this to be all wired within the confines of the boiler housing, i.e. not to run out, so it's not like an exposed flex. Might need to consider. Okay, so for testing purposes only, I'll be using this, but uh, for future installation it will either have to be three core wire or a multi-core, four core wire with overall insulation. So you can get it clamped up in the uh, uh, cord grip screws.